coronavirus infection is here. It is not just common cold. It's human coronaviruses are many. They have been present for a long time. And most common is the one which causes common cold. Two most severe and dangerous coronaviruses in the past were SARS and MERS. In 2002, atypical pneumonia happened to be in China, causing spread of this infection throughout the world. The name given to this infection was Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS. SARS started as fever, cough, and shortness of breath with the loose bowel movements or diarrhea. In those who were infected, one in three or one in four required ventilation and about one in 10 passed away or died. The other type of infection called MERS was named after Middle East Respiratory Syndrome caused by coronavirus. MERS has caused many deaths. About one third of the cases who got infected died by the end of November 2019. Most recently, World Health Organization was given information by Chinese authorities that they have noticed atypical pneumonia in Wuhan, China. And that's where it started, coronavirus, COVID-19. Since then, this infection spread to all the countries of the world except Iceland, infecting in a few months over 81,000 people and causing death of over 2,600 in total. SARS and MERS did help to develop vaccine for these both deadly illnesses most likely vaccine against coronavirus, COVID-19 will be developed within next two to three months. It would protect people who will receive vaccination, just like a flu shot. These viruses are extremely small in size ranging from 20 to 400 nanometer in diameter. And just bear in mind that 0.015 micron is equal to 15 nanometer in size. So it is very hard to viruses to be stopped by wearing ordinary mask, you may require viral filter uh, with the minimal screening uh, that will prevent passing through of a virus. The best preventive measures one can take is to avoid any congregation and not get exposed to other people sneezing or cough or droplet infection. Also, be cautious when you travel by airplane or buses or trains or public transport. Unless it is absolutely necessary, you should take precautions while traveling you must wash your hands frequently and if you are coughing protect the others by coughing in your elbow against your nose and mouth 
or using handkerchief or a napkin and dispose of these after use in a safe manner. If you have cough, fever, or muscle aches, or headaches, or even uh, diarrhea, it may be in your best interest to avoid going out. Completely get hydrated by drinking enough fluids and washing your nasal mucosa and mouth by water. You may gargle with quarter teaspoon of salt and four ounce lukewarm water two, three times a day. Do not touch anything unnecessarily, especially like doorknobs at public places or handrails while in the shopping mall. This type of infection has huge impact on the economy as trade is decreased and uh, people are not spending as they don't go out. And uh, the best bet is to recover fast and make sure you don't give infection to anyone else in the family, friends, or at work.